Lately, there's been a ton of talk about cicadas. Billions of them have taken over our parks, backyards, sidewalks, but not everyone has been a part of the cicada party. Our Verify team got an email from a viewer named Jen saying her backyard's totally empty. So let's verify what are the reasons that cicadas might not be in your neighborhood. Our source is Michael Raup, a professor emeritus at the University of Maryland, a.k.a. the bug guy. Somebody's got to be the bug guy. It might as well be me. Raup says one big reason is land use, because remember, the cicadas we see today were born 17 years ago and have been growing underground ever since. New developments, let's say past 2004, simply are unlikely to have cicadas again if they've been deforested. Just like Joni Mitchell said, you know, you pave paradise and put up a parking lot no more cicadas. This is also why cicadas are less prevalent in cities. 17 years ago, the cicada nymphs had no place to go due to all that pavement. So what trees do cicadas like? Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of cicadas now in oak trees, in maple trees, uh, in elm trees. They tend not to like the gymnosperms, evergreens, uh, things like spruces and other trees with very dense needle foliage and branches. But what if you have one of those trees that they like in your backyard, but for some reason you just have no cicadas? They're very patchy. They may have emerged, but they may have gone off uh, down the street 100 yards. That's where they're laying eggs. And it can be as simple as 100 yards down the road. With your Verify, this is Evan Kozlov.